All right, so I'm going to start this um, conversation. This is the last class I'm going to speak to, so I, I forgot to say this the last couple of times, but peace is how I greet, because that's how I come. So basically what I want to say is we are the 99%. And when I say we, I mean all of you and me, we are the 99%. And that'll, expl that'll be explained in detail as I go on. In America, 1% of the population controls our politicians and our political system through large comp campaign donations and lobbyists. Um, excuse me a minute. And um, other um, industries that are controlled by the almighty dollar would be media, medical, food, and the banking industry. We are the 99%, and we are uniting the 99% to exercise our rights as United States citizens to stand and make decisions for ourselves. We have no leader because we are all leaders. Our goal is simple. By way of nonviolent protest and public proclamation, and by exercising our freedom to assemble and our freedom of speech, we seek to educate and motivate the 99% to make change and hold the 1% accountable. Now, basically, this is about the Occupy movements that's been going on across the world. This is a worldwide movement. Before I get any more detail about what our movement is about, has anybody heard about the Occupy movements going on? You've had? Mm -hmm. What have you heard? They're nonviolent, or non not nonviolent, but they're there for just to make a statement. Um, they have been cooperative. They um, are multiplying and multiplying and multiplying. They're around the country in various cities. We have Tacoma, we have Seattle, we have a number of different places that they're gathering. Indeed. It's a worldwide movement. started in uh, New York on Wall Street. Um, it started and it stems from corporate greed. It also started from the housing market. Remember how the housing market bust and all the foreclosures and stuff like that? That's another factor that ties into this. It started initially from a magazine article that was put in a magazine called Ad Busters. If you never heard of Ad Busters, it's a magazine without advertisements. Um, and the reason for no advertisement, obviously, is so that they can do what they want without pressure from the advertisers to say and do what they want. Um, the article suggested that we hold an occupation, which is kind of like a sit-in. If you remember back in the 70s, they did sit-ins. Um, they picked a spot in Wall Street. The protesters are determined to stay there. They won't be moved until we as a people come together and we're going to conversate, figure out what we want to do as a people and how we want to change our country. You know, because this is our country, not the politicians and not the corporations. So our goal is to bring as many people, and I mean diverse, we need everybody to come so that we can conversate and figure out how we're going to deal with these issues that comes with poverty. And I just saw this young lady uh, walk in and I forgot one important issue, wars. We are going to so many wars and we are losing people left and right every day for something that we shouldn't because it was a lie initially and we all know that weapons of mass destruction that wasn't there. All right. But um, one of the reasons and one of the things we do, obviously, Visit the website, occupycoma.org. The 99%, like I told you earlier, it means it's all of us. It's just everybody who is not millionaires, billionaires, you know what I'm saying? Because if a politician have a, um, a uh, dinner where you can speak to the politician and get to know the politician and tell them about your issues and concerns, these plates usually cost $10,000 or more. Do anybody here have $10,000 they can pay dinner for? Okay, I thought not. So ultimately... Our goal is to bring as many people to the table to conversate. We are currently on 21st and Pacific, downtown Tacoma. We have a campsite there in the park. We have compensated. This is a state park that we have confiscated. We will be there indefinitely. We are hunkering down for the winter. And my goal here today is to outreach, is to reach out to all the community and invite you down. And I'm invite you down specifically to a march that we have on the 29th uh, in the Lincoln area neighborhood. You will see the information on the web page. It is the 29th. It starts at 2 o'clock. Um, come on out. We have speeches before and after the march. If you want to speak and you have something to say, agree or disagree with our position, you can speak because that's what this movement is about. It's about inclusiveness of everybody that is in the 99%. I um, want to make sure I don't miss anything. Why am I in this movement? The reason why I'm a part of this movement is... Uh, more or less, not necessarily an economic thing, even though I am definitely touched by that, but it's more a social thing for me. Um, I believe that we have been divided um, ever since slavery, I would say. Uh, we've been divided by race, 
excuse me, religion, class, and we want to, you know, get rid of those divisions, come together so that we can find a way to solve these real problems with real solutions. Stop leaving it up to the politicians to fix our issues. So if anybody else other than this young lady heard about the Occupy movements, Wall Street, what you heard? I just heard that it was a, there was one up in Seattle. Mm -hmm. That was pretty much it. I saw a little clip on the news. Yeah, and they've been up in Seattle, and Seattle actually is a good place if you can make it down to Seattle, because I plan on going down there. Any place you can go, your support is needed in many different ways. We don't necessarily need you to occupy. Everybody can't spend a night down in the park, but if you can spend an hour down there, a night, uh, two minutes, whatever, come down and talk to us. Uh, we also can use people to outreach, you know. Just tell a friend. Tell anybody. Do your research. Don't believe what I say. Go on the internet and research for yourself. I guarantee you that all the issues that we have, you are touched by one of those issues. Our ultimate goal is to create change. So there are several ways we're going to do this. One is through legislation. Um, changing some laws. Fixing some things by changing some laws. We're working on that. New York has got a little further. They have already penned some legislation. Um, we are trying to get all the people together in our community so we can pin legislation, but we can't do it without everybody because I don't want to speak for you, and I know you don't want me to speak for you either. Uh, the other thing is that um, this is a this is about touching the corporations and letting them know that we won't be controlled by their money and by their power and influence. So one way we can do that is to touch the corporations where it hurt them, and that's in their pocket. So we plan on boycotting corporations and banks uh, one thing we suggest people do is take all your money out of bank account, put it in a credit union. Credit unions keep their money in the community and stay with the people. Another thing we suggest, cut up your credit cards. Now, I know that's hard for some people, but we might have to do that. We also um, suggest that you shop at local and small businesses. Support your um, local uh, uh, vendors. Question. Winco. 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 Walmart, uh, Macy's, Nordstrom's. I'm not sure. I think Winco is a is a big corporation. Yeah, Winco is an employee owned stock. Employee owned stock. Yeah. Well, and if and we would need your um, voice down there because when we have our general assembly meetings, uh, which is our GA, that's where we make decisions on what we're going to do. If we're going to do a march, if we're going to boycott somebody, and it would be important to have you there because I didn't know that. And so, if you're there, then you can raise your hand and tell us that so we won't boycott that um, that uh, company. Um, and the GA works like this. We've created a little democratic society so that we can get things done. I, you can imagine how hard it is for a bunch of different people from different walks of life coming together, trying to make a decision. So what we've worked out is uh, if I'm talking at the GA and I'm about to propose something and you like it, then you would do this. Put your little wiggly fingers up. I like that. Or you can say, nah, I don't really like that. Or you can go, in New York, we don't do this in Tacoma, but uh, in New York they got a half one. Like, ah, uh, maybe. Um, the other thing is, if I'm starting to talk and I had a point initially, but you see I'm going off point, point of process. That means, you know, get back on point. You're losing me. Or if I'm just talking so much and I'm saying the same thing over and over, come on, you're rambling on, let's get it on. You know what I'm saying? And this is the most important one. When we make a decision, um, obviously you raise your hand if you agree. You also raise your hand if you disagree. But if you absolutely disagree with the proposal that is up and you say this is detrimental to the cause or is so against what I want to do that I'm leaving, you block it. Any one person can block. I don't care if it's 200 people in there, you can block. And if you block, we're going to hear you out. You get to say your, your piece and then we're going to discuss it some more and figure out, was well, that the right decision? Does this person have a good point? Now then, for the motion to pass, it has to pass by a majority rule. Now that's consensus. Some people, and it's in different um, variations in different cities and states. In New York, I'm not sure what theirs is, but some people consensus is 100%. That means everybody has to agree. That could take a long time, but that's democracy. Our consensus is 85, uh, what is the ratio of my math? 85-15, is that right? Okay, good. So 85-15 is our consensus. But most importantly, that's why I'm here. I definitely want y'all to come out. If you can, please visit the website. We need as much help as we can. This affects you, believe me. Any other questions or concerns or comments? Thank you. How did you get started in, in doing that? Well, I saw it on news. I saw it a brief little clip on the news. And it's not on a major news network, so don't expect to see it there. you got to look for it yourself. And then I was like, well, what are all these people doing out in New York? So I said, I'm going to go on the internet, did my little research. 
And then I start reading on why they were there. The corporations. Yes, I understand that. I am affected by corporations and corporate greed because I vote. You know what I'm saying? And when I vote, I realize that, you know, like some people, I just don't think it works sometimes. I don't think that my voice is really that. It don't matter. I cannot vote or vote, even though I still choose to. Um, and I do see, like I said, we just I boycotted a uh, congressman up here named um, Dix or something. Anybody know his Norm name? Dix. Norm Dix. He had a $10,000 plate dinner. Now, at these dinners, obviously, these big corporations and people get to talk to this guy who's going to be a congressman, who's going to be up there making decisions so-called for us. And who he's going to be, who is he going to be working for other than the people that he talked to? Mm -hmm. I can't talk to him. So I know that affects me. And also, I start seeing so many different races, religions, and creeds, all types of people coming together. And it's, it was a beautiful thing, especially if you look at the New York, because in our um, General Assembly, you might see 50 to 60 people on average. And there's 200. 200 people trying to come to a decision and it's beautiful how they do it. And another thing I forgot to mention, we repeat everything. We have what we call the people's mic, which means if I say something, please repeat after me. If I say something, you say something so that you understand what I'm saying and you are not left out the conversation. Imagine 200 people and you in the back. And you in the back. How are you going to hear me? Hear Unless me? everybody repeats what I say. Unless everybody repeats what I say. All right, you don't have to repeat anymore. Any, <laughs> any other questions or concerns? What okay. What you guys were getting together again? We are getting together on the 29th, this Saturday, in the Lincoln neighborhood. Um, and it's going to be at 2 o'clock. The start time and the start point will be on the website at occupytacoma.org. I forgot the street. I think it's 36 and Thompson is the start point. Speeches before and speeches after. This is definitely count for one of your live speeches. I talked to Dr. Phil. He said that would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Are there any more questions? Because I got something else I want to leave y'all with before. I'm wondering if you're supported by like the unions and the communists. Good question. We are working on getting more unions. We have uh, Log Shoreman from down at the Port of Tacoma who have already given us the uh, go ahead with them. Any other people affiliated with any unions? Anybody affiliated with any other races, creeds? Um, Asian community, we have a large Asian community in, in Tacoma, uh, they are not represented. We have a large Hispanic community and they are not represented. My goal right now, I have my own website which links into this which is called, which is Facebook slash Occupy the Hood Tacoma and my goal is to reach those other communities, uh, the Asian, the African American, the Hispanic, the Native American because we're just not down there yet. And one of the reasons is it's a misconception when you look at it on the major news networks they try to make the perception that this is a white, middle-class movement, that it's only about the economy, that it's only about the uh, uh, housing market and things like that. It's way bigger than that. Get into the internet and research. So, any other questions? Okay. Before we go, I wanted, wanted y'all to kind of do something with me. Uh, this is what, when we march, this is one of the chants we say, and I think everybody needs to know this because you are. So repeat after me. We are the 99%. We, we are the 99%. Oh, one more. We are the 99%. We are the 99%. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you.